this is the Real Madrid lineup. Well, we've gone with a 4 3 3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4 5 1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Check on the team news for you for Sporting. Well, it does look a bit negative, this, Alan. Can you see some positives in the 4-5-1? It's all about attitude, really, Martin, isn't it? How much those wide lads in the midfield do want to get forward, whether one or two in the middle can make runs beyond the lone striker, we'll see. about Real Madrid they're expected to win every game every time they play
here we're going to have a substitution. And it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. The start now of the second period. Here's a chance. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. On to the attack now. Oh, in goes the cross. And that will be delight for the defenders. There's no one on the end of the cross. He's going to make a change now. Madrid have decided to bring on a fresh pair of legs. Turnover there that we didn't expect. team substitution in the offing that's taken the heat out of the situation for the moment with that interception mm. substitution for Real Madrid Deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. It's a corner again. Real Madrid have a substitute getting ready. He's coming forward with some danger. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. We have a substitution coming up, and it's coming up for Real Madrid. It is a defensive plan now, there's no doubt about it, is there, Alan? Well, they might not have much of an app. Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. That's well, well <laughs> wide. Real Madrid want to make an alteration from the bench.
he's lost the ball here. Here comes the cross. That will help ease the pressure. The throw in for Real Madrid. He's tried to lash it, Alan, hasn't he, really? And that's why he's missed by such a long distance. Yeah, he has. And uh, he'll look back on that with a lot of regret. If they... We just wonder if the pressure this late in the game has got to him. That was a poor miss. Yeah, I think he was trying to write his own headlines there. Bad decision, he had other options. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. the cross and oh, the ball's got in and that could win them the game in many ways this is the great appeal of the game a team that's given little chance can win as surely they've done with this late goal yeah and i think every single individual has played at the maximum as opposed to the opposition who haven't been at it oh talk about timing they left it late that is a big big goal Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of a... And it's come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. This is why we love the game, because anything is possible. That's no consolation to the favourites who lost the game they were expected to win. But it's just a remarkable upset. It is. I just wonder whether the favourites came into this game believing they were going to win, and they, they took it easy. Certainly the underdogs didn't. They were full value for this win. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Well, he had a good performance and uh, snatched that late goal to grab the win.